guys, hope you're all doing well. I wanted to show you how to cook the perfect chicken drumstick with Pepro's Yarbird Rub and also tossing it in our own buffalo sauce. What we have here is we got the barbecue lit. The summertime is coming. We got the charcoal nice and hot. I got a bit of rosemary in there for flavor. And over here, we have nice meaty chicken drumsticks. Here is the rub that we have. It's called Yarbird. It's perfect for all things poultry, perfect for your turkey, perfect for chicken wings, chicken, duck, pheasant, anything you want to put this onto, it's amazing. So what we'll do is we'll season these up like this, just like that. We're going to coat them up really well. Inside, smoked paprika, garlic, cumin, oregano, chili flakes, bit of chili powder, cumin. There's so much flavor going through this. Season them up really well, just like that. Whack them back down there, and then with your gloves, get, get it right in. Marinate it all up with that rub, pad them in, and using the smoker, just pop them in here, just like this. So I got the charcoal here, nice cooler side here. Just leave them like that. And what you do then is you pop the lid right on top, just like that. And you can leave the damper one open and one a little bit closed, just so there's a bit of airflow going in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to these halfway through and we're gonna turn them, baste them, get them in, maybe add a bit more rosemary, a little bit of wood, and that's it. So we're gonna come back here, we're gonna open them up. Look at this. Smell the aromas, the spices, the flavor going through the air. Give them a little turn, just like that. The skin is gonna get really nice and crispy. And with this now, we're gonna put the lid back on again and we're gonna come back to them. They are cooking nice and slowly. Beautiful flavor going on. What I have here is a little pan. It's like butter inside, bit of garlic, some lemon, rosemary. And with this one, I just add a little bit of the Yarbird rub inside the butter, just to give that extra bit of flavor. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna toss and turn them in a little bit of that butter, just for extra flavor. Keep them nice and moist. And you get all that beautiful flavor of the garlic, the lemon, the rosemary. And of course, the pip rose rub, just there. Whack them on, check that out. What's not to love with this? While the chicken is cooking now, it's gonna take around 25 to 30 minutes, nice and slow, get it done. Just make sure you give it a quick little probe to make sure that they're fully cooked, baste them, turn them, lots of love. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the garnish ready. The garnish, I wanna use some coriander and some chilies. So with the chilies, just slice them nice and thin, just like that. Not too much, because you don't wanna have too much heat going on. Just like that. And then a little bit of the coriander. With the coriander, just give it a little rough chop and that is ready right there. Mix it up, beautiful. With the sauce, it's the buffalo. It's the banging buffalo sauce from Pip Rose. If you like a bit of spice to your life, a bit of kick, this is the one to have. It, you can put it on basically everything. You can put it on pizzas, you can put it on the chicken, chicken wings. You can put it with some vegetables. I had it last night with little chicken, deep fried chicken bites, which were delicious. You just dunk them in there, put them on nachos, put them on everything. And yeah, we have this. We're gonna drizzle them up a little bit into the bowl with the chicken drumsticks, bit of chili, bit of coriander, and that's it. Bit of kick to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
So the exciting time is here. Check this out. You have the chicken here. I'm just gonna give them a quick little probe. Just make sure that they're above 75, that's all good. Nice and cooked, they're still juicy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out now and I'm gonna toss them into this little pan right here just to give them a little bit more love and affection with the butter, the lemon and that nice rub. So we've whacked them on here. Give it a little toss just like that. Now is where the magic happens. What I want to do is I'm gonna season them up a little bit more on the outside. We got the bowl. We're gonna to toss them right into the bowl just like this. Just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to drizzle a little bit of the butter inside like this. It's just all about adding that extra bit of flavor. And then the banging buffalo sauce. Now there's a good kick to this. So you can just drizzle it in there like this. Delicious. Get your chili coriander, toss it in there. And then using some gloves, give it a good mix. Look at this. The steam is coming off. There's a bit of spice to it. And then just over here, we're gonna plate them up down here. Just whack them on there like that. All of this beautiful flavor, sauce, get it on there. And then last but not least, we're going to drizzle a little bit more of the Bang & Buffalo sauce on top and garnish a tiny bit more of coriander. If you don't like coriander, no need to have it. But I love coriander, so. Mm. That is it right there. That is the banging buffalo sauce with some chicken drumsticks, some chili, yarbrough rub. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. Click the link in the description. Make sure you uh, buy some of the products as well. And mm. so, oh, there's a proper kick to that. It's a lingering flavor. There's spice to it. It me mellows out really nicely. You got the rub, you got all the flavors of the butter, the coriander, the chili. And uh, yeah, look, I'm gonna enjoy my evening eating these chicken drumsticks. Have a little bit of fun out there. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, come in and visit us at Pip Rose anytime. Big love.